Let's run through Absinthe's user interface. If you've used previous versions, you'll notice that everything's been streamlined for efficiency and workflow. First, notice that I'm running Absinthe in standalone mode. This simply means that Absinthe is running as an application on its own, rather than as a plugin within a sequencer application, as you'll see me do later on in this tutorial. A quick way to tell when Absinthe is running in standalone mode is that this top menu bar here is visible. To start our tour, let's break down the interface into its main components. First, there's the navigation bar. As you'll see, Absinthe is divided into multiple displays, which control various aspects of the synthesizer and how it sounds, as well as places to find and manage stored sound presets and more. Clicking any of these eight buttons will get you around most of the interface quickly. We've also got a record button here. This allows us to record up to 10 minutes of stereo audio out from Absinthe in just a few clicks. We'll come back to this one a little later on, along with all the other features we're about to see on the tour. We've also got a few computer resource and output displays up here as well. Moving on, and central in terms of importance, is this middle region here. This is where each of the displays, or windows, are located. Normally, you can only have one of these visible at a time, but you can also pop out any of these windows by holding control and clicking on one of the buttons in the navigation bar. Though you won't see me do much of this in the tutorial, there are some times when it's useful to have multiple windows open at once, especially since changes in one of these windows will often need to be followed up by changes in another window in order to get the right sound. Let's go through each of these windows now. The browser is often your starting place, since it's the place where all the preset instruments that Absence comes with are stored and organized, along with those that you create. You can see that by scrolling down here on the right, I have a pretty huge list of synth presets in front of me. If I didn't have a rough way of knowing what any of these sounded like, I'd be forced to try them all out one by one. Luckily, as you can see, the sounds are organized by various audio descriptors, such as source, timbre, articulation, and more. Clicking on any of these will narrow down the list of sounds that match your preferences, and display just those results here on the right. Unclicking all these selections will display the full list again. Effects can also be browsed for in a similar way, by switching on the Effects button here, and navigating by a set of Effects descriptors once again. Clicking on the Sound button up here, We'll switch the browser between displaying the categorized synth presets and a file browser to locate your synth presets based on their folder location on your hard drive. Two excellent new features are also on display here at the bottom of the browser, the mutator and fine tuning panels. As we'll see very soon, the mutator lets you mix and merge your currently loaded series of patches and filters with one or more presets in the browser to instantly create something that is made out of certain aspects of both sounds. And the fine tuning panel allows you to quickly change a series of settings to the underlying oscillators and filters used to produce the sound, without having to delve into any of the specific controls under the hood. Next, you'll notice the virtual keyboard. It's visible at any time, as you can see as we switch to our next window, Attributes. It can be toggled on or off using the keyboard button up here on the toolbar just below the navigation bar. It can also be hidden from view using this little upward pointing arrow. In short, it provides a look at the keys that are being used when you play your MIDI keyboard, as well as a quick way to preview the synth using your mouse, and a few other features we'll look into a bit later on. Stay tuned for the second half of our quick tour of Absinthe.